Welcome to this video guide on how to register a bidder account in the online e-tendering system for the United Nations Development Program UNDP. If you have a profile in the UNDP e-tendering system but cannot remember the password, do not register again. Skip to the end of this video to see how to reset your password. This guide is for first-time users of e-tendering who wish to participate in a UNDP tender as a supplier and need to register their bidder profile on the UNDP e-tendering system. Please note that the steps outlined in this guide have been simplified for quick reference. For more detailed information on how to register a bidder profile and submit a bid on e-tendering, please review the detailed e-tendering bidder user guide document which you can find in the UNDP public website used for making tender announcements. If you experience any technical issues during registration and require further assistance, please contact the focal point of the procurement office as indicated in the solicitation document for the tender you wish to bid on. The first time a bidder enters e-tendering, a one-time registration process is required. Bidders only register once and thereafter enter e-tendering with their own username and password. There are four key actions to the registration process. 1. Log in using generic credentials. 2. Click on the Register Bidder link. 3. Register Bidder Profile Details and 4. Confirm registration and create a new password. To start the registration process, go to etendering.partneragencies.org and log in with the username event.guest and the password y2change. Click on Login. Remember that if you already have a profile registered, do not create a new profile. Instead, use the forgotten password link to reset your password. Skip to the end of this video for detailed instructions. When you are logged in with the guest account, Event Guest, you can search for tenders and download tender documents without having to register by clicking on View Events and Place Bids. Please refer to the main user guide or the video on how to submit bids for detailed instructions. To start the registration process, click on the Register Bidder link. Please wait for the system to load the data and the registration process to start. Depending on connectivity, this may take a few minutes. There are eight steps to register a bidder profile. Step one. For question number one, select business if you are a company or individual if you are an individual consultant. For question number two, select both. Click on next. Step two. Type in the name of your company. The name must correspond to the entity name as registered legally. Special characters are not allowed. If you receive a system error message indicating that your company name already exists, do not create a new profile with another name. Most probably you already have an account and must activate it instead of creating a new one. Use the forgotten password link to reset your password if you do not remember it or contact UNDP for support. Create the users for your company. Enter first name, last name, email address, telephone number, and select a username. Avoid using specific names as usernames, as this is an information that cannot be changed later. Instead, indicate the company name and title or position. The username should not contain special characters. Please make sure the email address indicated is valid and that you have access to it. The system will send the temporary passwords and any future correspondence to this email address. You can add a second user by clicking on the Save and Add Another User button. Enter the relevant information for the second user. Please note that the user ID must be unique. Click on Next to continue to the next step. Step 3. Enter the company address. Start by choosing the country where your company is registered. Click on Change Country to select your country from the list. Click on Next to continue to the next step. Step 4. This step is optional and does not need to be completed. Click Next to continue to the next step. Step 5. This step is optional and does not need to be completed. 
the system automatically links the company address with the company's users. Click Next to continue to the next step. Step 6. Read the UNDP terms and conditions for using the e-tendering system and check the box. Click on Finish to continue to the next step. Your company profile is created in the system, but registration is not completed yet. Click OK. You will receive an automatic email containing your username, temporary password and instructions on how to create your own password. As a first step, clear the internet browser history and close the browser. Then open the e-tendering page again. Log in with the username and the temporary password received via email. Make sure you type in the password correctly. Click on Login to continue to the next step to choose your own password in the Password Change Request page. Type in the temporary password received via email. Type in the new password. Type in the new password again to confirm. The password must be a minimum of eight characters long, contain at least one uppercase letter and one lowercase letter, and at least one number. Now your registration is complete and you can start participating in tenders. In this part of the video, you will learn how to reset your password if you have forgotten it. Go to the e-tendering page and click on Forgotten Password. In the subsequent page, type in your username and email address. Click on Submit. If you do not remember your username and email address, contact UNDP for support. Select the answer to the security question linked with your profile. Click on Submit. The system will send a new temporary password to the specified email address. Clear the internet browser history, close the browser and open it again. Log in with your username and the temporary password received via email. Make sure you type in the password correctly. Click on Login to continue to the next step to choose your own password in the Password Change Request page. Do not click on the Change Password link. Complete the next steps for changing the password as shown earlier. Thank you for watching this video. For more resource materials on e-tendering, including more detailed guides and guides on how to submit bids, go to the link shown.